although it's not part of the normal business that is done by the kidneys with ions and all these different things, alpha-lipoic acid can be very pro-kidney repair. So we use it a lot in people who've had damaged kidneys. Hey, it's Dr. A. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I've been involved in teaching and researching in the integrative and naturopathic medical community for 30 years. I've been seeing patients during that time and mainly in the worlds of cancer and chronic illness. And so this channel is dedicated to being a patient education channel and answering questions. So today I want to answer some questions I got because of some other content we did about alpha lipoic acid or ALA. And it's a not uncommonly found supplement that we see. And people might notice it smells a little sulfury. They might have been told to take it for any number of reasons, but we got a bunch of questions about ALA. So the first thing is alpha lipoic acid is also known as thioc acid, but alpha-lipoic acid sounds much better, easier to say, and it's been characterized in chemistry for a long time. Now, as was mentioned, there is sulfur in it, not sulfa, but sulfur, the molecule or the uh, chemical, and as a sulfur-bearing compound, the thioctic acid or the alpha-lipoic acid is what's called a thiol, a sulfur thiol. So other thiols you might have heard of, N-acetylcysteine, glutathione is a thiol, alpha lipoic acid, and then there's a bunch of others. So first off, it's a thiol complex. Next, its structure is kind of unique to alpha lipoic acid. And so if you look at other thiols like, say, glutathione or N-acetylcysteine, they're water-soluble and they work in water-soluble compartments. Alpha lipoic acid is primarily fat-soluble, although it can have some actions that are water-soluble-like. Now, why would that make a difference? Well, in the places where alpha lipoic acid works, which are usually inside of your cell or in the cell membrane, you have to get through the fat soluble compartment. So the cell membrane is fat soluble. We would like lipoic acid to work at the cell membrane. And then the mitochondria has a membrane and we would like lipoic acid to work in the mitochondria as well. The other thing would be getting into spaces such as in the liver and increasing something we call the thiol pool. So the thiol pool is a conglomeration of your sulfur bearing chemicals that you've got. And that pool can be used then to make good things like glutathione and do other stuff in the body. So it's partly fat soluble nature allows it to get into these compartments easier than say N-acetylcysteine or glutathione. Now they're all useful. It's just different, different chemistry. Quick plug here. If you're a healthcare practitioner working with patients with these issues, I have a CE website and I do webinars on this topic and others. So we're going to put a link in the description below to the CE website link and the particular webinar of interest. Thank you. So the first thing is, is it's generally speaking an antioxidant support. So what's the difference? Well, if we look at N-acetylcysteine, another thiol, water-soluble, what does it do? It raises glutathione levels because it's the rate-limiting amino acid in the formation of glutathione. So that's how N-acetylcysteine works, directly by increasing glutathione. What does alpha-lipoic acid do? Alpha-lipoic acid goes in, raises the thiol pool, and that naturally spills over to more formation of glutathione. So it's an indirect glutathione support. So it supports antioxidant function. The other thing we mentioned, the cell membrane, and it's fatty. The other thing that lipoic acid does is it goes and it activates something called the GLUT transporters, the GLUT transporters. So GLUT transporters transport things like sugar into your cell, transport things like vitamin C, and a few other things. Well, the GLUT transport system can get downregulated in insulin sensitivity problems like type 2 diabetes, insulin insensitivity. And alpha lipoic acid actually can be helpful to improve the sensitivity of of the receptor sites on the GLUT transporter so that we have a more efficient use of our blood sugar and our insulin. Now, this is greatly aided by eating in a way, a metabolically flexible eating plan where your insulin levels aren't spiking and going up and down all day long. So it's sort of a one-two punch, but lipoic acid can be helpful there. It's been researched in directly in insulin sensitivity. Its other big area of research is in the recovery and repair of nervous system 
some tissue. So some of the original research was done in diabetic neuropathies, but it's actually very useful in a number of other settings, whether it's a post-concussive illness, peripheral neuropathies from drugs or drugs such as chemotherapy or other stuff or other things that might be useful for lipoic acid. But what are some maybe lesser known benefits of alpha lipoic acid? Well, one is it's also extremely beneficial to the kidneys. And lipoic acid, although it's not part of the normal business that is done by the kidneys with ions and all these different things, alpha lipoic acid can be very pro-kidney repair. So we use it a lot in people who've had damaged kidneys. And finally, the other area that is not always apparent, let's say, is that alpha lipoic acid can be an indirect support to your mitochondria. Lipoic acid can be one of those agents that helps at the level of mitochondrial function. All right, I'm Dr. A. I hope this answered the questions we got about alpha lipoic acid. Please like, share, subscribe. We super appreciate all of the new subscribers. Appreciate all you base subscribers that built the channel. And we're doing very well with the YouTube and we're here to give you good value and answer your questions that you have. So thank you again and I'll see you on the next video.